Today, I am giving three must tips for the macro photography beginners. Today, I am giving three must tips for the macro photography beginners. The first tip is to hold the camera very firm and very tight, very strongly, so that you will have a less camera shake. So for this, I usually put my hands with my body like this and move the camera back and forth including my body rather than doing this yeah sometimes i do this whenever i need to go far away in that case i move my hand otherwise if the subject is very close what i do i put my both arms along with my body and move the whole body along with the camera this is the very important tip the number one tip for the macro photography beginners Number two, ho holding the camera tight along with your body, you need to focus the subject slightly, then you move with camera back and forth and either use viewfinder or the LCD screen back. Number three, you must have a diffuser in front of your flash. This is a must. Any kind of diffuser. You cannot do macro photography without any diffuser. I prefer radiant diffuser. That's why I'm using it for last several months. Before that, I used to use all other different kind of DIY or other kind of diffusers. I'll make another video on different systems of diffuser for macro photography in my upcoming videos. In a moment, I'll try to find some any suitable subject for macro photography. Let me explain my gear today. This is a very simple, easy and cheap gear. I'm, I'll be using Sony A6500 and my lens is TTR is a 40mm macro lens and the flash is Godox V350 and you can see a micro radiant diffuser, DIY micro radiant diffuser on top of this flash. This is a radiant diffuser, you can see the white one is the diffuser part and this black one is reflector for this whole diffuser. So I made it myself. If you want to make yourself one, please watch my playlist on diffusers in my channel. There are plenty of videos on diffuser. I will try to find some insect and I will try to do some macro photography today. Let's go inside and see what I can find. I found a rice bug on a leaf. So I think it's difficult to show. It's very small, about one inch long. I'll try to take some macro photograph of this one. Let me try. I have found a caterpillar on this leaf. It is not moving very fast because maybe resting. So I'll take some pictures of this. I found one caterpillar. You see, it is walking, it is very beautiful and with a red head. That is it, sir. So I'll try to take some photographs of this beautiful caterpillar. 
This time I am breaking the rule. I am holding the camera up and the subject up against the background. But in this case I will have to keep my hand very steady. I found a web spider. I don't know its name. It looks nice. Let me take some pictures. Holding my camera strongly with my body and trying to focus it. In this technique, I can change this uh, subject its orientation, angle, I can move it left and right to make a composition. So this is one very important technique every macro photographer should do. Uh, putting the subject on a leaf and changing the angle and making the right composition for your photograph. If you like my techniques, if you like my macro photography, please subscribe, press the bell icon, stay connected. See you in next video. Bye bye.